Hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Miyogi, and I can't believe I'm actually here already. This is the official launch of the Crew Motor Fest. Yes, I am basically 11 days late. I know, the pre-release ones for the ones who got the Ultimate Edition, the pre-order bonuses, they were able to play the game at September 11. And those who bought the regular version onwards, they're able to play it on September 14. Now, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Ubisoft uh, for giving me a copy of this game. So, much pleasure, much obliged. I have been, finally, I've been through all variants of the crew. We got the crew 1, calling all units, uh, the crew 2, and of course, now we have the crew motor fest. Our entire trilogy has has already set in stone and yeah right now this is the different screen the only main difference of this from the uh, closed beta is that now we have running Hawaiian music and I do believe and I do hope that the graphics um, and this entire game is geared much better for PC now because I know there were some compatibility and frame rate issues in PC during the closed beta, gearing much more akin for X for Xbox and PlayStation. And I'm going to be doing this because I've also heard that you can transfer all your data between the crew one, I mean between the crew two and the crew motor fest, and it updates real time. So now if I want to buy some cars from the crew two, it would automatically reflect here on the crew motor fest. Most if not all though. Because I know some cars would be coming in at around November. So if you want to save up uh, on prior to Motorfest, because this is a $70 game, mind you. So that's kind of a lot. That's not cheap. And so if what's uh, closer to your budget, especially this upcoming Black Friday, is the Crew 2, start with that first. So Because don't worry, any progression you do there, especially for the car collections, vehicle collections, will be carried over here. And that was an absolutely beautiful. That was an absolutely beautiful PV. And it loops! So before that, I have just to go through the options for a moment. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what I did, I actually went through the settings. And I'm surprised that my close beta settings have been carried over into the main game. So I like it this way. So, I already got my cars imported. Let's start the campaign. And I'm pretty sure this is something that we've skipped out on on the closed beta. So I'm gonna shut up now and let this play out. Welcome to Hawaii, everyone. Look alive. You're at the Motor Fest. Photo time. <laughs> okay, at this point, we get to choose our preset avatar. We have the option among these very, I would, I wouldn't say obscure, but <laughs> ethnicity be them. We already have our options. This is the most Filipino as it can get. Most American. Uh, I, I'm gonna be quiet now. I might go into racist territory. <laughs> but everyone's actually looking well. 
a bit better compared to the closed beta. It has been refined. I would at least say that it mu say that much. Hmm. I normally want to go as myself, but because we are at Oahu, and for those who have known my graphic novel as much, I'm gonna go Argentine with this one. Let's customize her. Yeah, picking the face, the head, also changes the gender of the character of your choice. Hmm, what's the closest one that I got? I think this is the one that I went with before. Yeah, I don't see anything new much actually, so let's see. Yeah, I went with this one last time. It's a shame that they don't have anything longer. Yeah, I would go for that, but this is the closest we could get to a long haired babe with bangs. And obviously, it has to be blonde. It has to be. Do we go with uh, artificial blonde or natural blonde? You know what? Let's stick true to the lore. And she has brown, medium brown eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Medium dark brown, there we go. And among the preset outfits, yep, those are pretty much subpar. Is there anything else that I need to buy or these are all presets? Let's go with full Oh, come on! No full suit! Alright, let's... Let's go with the orb urban ones. And... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Chelsea boots, definitely. And of course... Racing gloves. Hmm. Do we go with the boyfriend look? <laughs> oh, you know what? She, she looks good in the denim jacket. Let's give her the leather jacket. Validate. All right, everyone, settle down. I know you're all excited. That chopper ride is always a trip. So, welcome again to the Motorfest. I'm Malu, the Motorfest PR, and I'm here to get you up to speed. You are our special guests. Athletes, festival goers, car lovers, all gathered here in majestic Hawaii. These are the festival grounds, but we've got the whole island set up for you. We've created a place where you can drive anything from the iconic to the super customized. It's a Motorfest branded, lovingly crafted car culture celebration. We call these lovelies the playlists. And I'm not just reading from the Motorfest app here either. I tried them out before you arrived. And <laughs> here, let me show you. This playlist is a unique Motorfest experience. It's called Made in Japan. Right, here we go. God damn it. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is Rewind set to L3? Okay, much better. Made in Japan is the way to experience Japanese car culture. It's where tarmac meets tradition. From mountain peaks to city streets, this neon journey is not one to miss. Oh yeah, now there we go. Is the difficulty reflecting here on the deck on this what part? I call a perk of the job. Right in the center of all the action, racing these Japanese drift Excuse masters. Excuse me. Just awesome. 
Akiko, excuse me, hello? I can feel it. Oh, I didn't make it the third, at least. and motorways was amazing. But the next playlist was Off-Roading Addict. A chance to race into the wild. Road gives you an opportunity to carve your own path, to explore the open expanse. The island becomes your playground. Total freedom becomes your creed. pickups, quads, you're given every chance to go off the beaten path. At least we have a smoother transition than back then in the close beta. It seems to be a little more enhanced for PC use. I like it. Improvisation, but the next playlist is all about the competition. <laughs> Aptly named the motorsports playlist, this one is for the pros. Okay, no nitro in this event. Got it. Sports is built around racing to the top, the thrill of competing, but it's also about strategic choices, decision making under pressure. Okay, yeah, we're obligated to this. better feeling than triumphing with your team in what some consider the apex of motorsports. I keep forgetting there's no NOS, I keep pressing the NOS button, I'm such a dumb dumb. Making the call when to go for the pit stop, checking on your rivals, it gets intense. <laughs> Felt good to be the champion, but then I got to go old school. Yeah. <laughs> 
Vintage Garage, a playlist for the true car aficionado. I'll admit, this one was a bit of a drag for me uh, during the close beta playthrough. And the only thing good about it is when we're aboard the F40. For these cars, it's not just about the look or the nostalgia. It's how these things drive, how they feel, how they steer. It was quite a challenge, in the best way possible. Outside of some collector car park, when would you ever get a chance to take these venerable legends for a spin? That's the power of Vintage Garage. Wasn't there Taste like a micro bus there here was before? No nitro to boost you and no GPS to guide you. Feels strangely comforting. And very unnerving. Oh, yeah, I remember the that new, mission. Say, the next playlist is legendary. Lamborghini. A playlist to truly experience the iconic, the trailblazing. I'm running out of adjectives here. Okay, this one is what I'm looking forward to. saw that Lamborghini logo, you knew what this playlist was going to be. Some of the most recognizable car designs in existence at your disposal. Oh god, ooh. quite like some of these cars. It's like a speed race through the story of Lamborghini, one of power and innovation. And that one guy just crashed. Oh my god, it, we nearly Riding crashed. The full roster of these legends was a rare privilege. A privilege Motorfest graciously gave me. And now, it's your turn. <laughs> like what you saw? Well, those were just the tip of the iceberg. But we've got to go step by step. Follow me. Look around you. This is what it's all about. Cars, bikes, rides, and good vibes. You'll get to explore the festival soon enough. And let's not forget, we're in Hawaii. And there's no better place to express yourself. Show off your flair. Customize your ride. It's a car culture buffet. Keep up. We're going to go meet the star of the show. Your car, of course. Come on. It's time for you to pick your ride. Okay, it's high time now that we do so, though. But I heard there's something Once you pick new your car, different. I'll hand you over to Kara, your personal AI assistant. 
When in doubt, you can always oh, hey. rely on her to guide you. This is new. This is definitely new. This is, I think this is a 2023, 2024 Mustang. Because back then this was just a fastback. I believe this is the Motorfest edition. As much as you know that I'm going to go for the S2K, we're going to go with the new ones. So the Mustang is an absolute game. Look at how long this boy is. This is longer than your average Mustang. It looks closer to a Bentley by length. Engaged. All engines go. Oh, yeah, I forgot our avatar is Adriana. <laughs> Hello, driver. I'm Kara. Let me assist you in choosing a playlist. How about no? Made in Japan. Race over asphalt and drift through neon in a journey through Japanese car culture. Alright, this is about high time for us to see the new playlist that we have unlocked compared to the closed beta. So this is made in Japan, we've seen that Hawaii one. Scenic Tour. Discover, explore and photograph the hidden charms and captivating beauty of Hawaii. Oh yeah, this is the only time I notice his full name. Keola Nakaakiki Raposo. <laughs> Yeah, I, I only remember him being called Keola back in the uh, closed beta. And American of course, 911 9 Legacy. Legacy. The Porsche story. Experience the true legacy of Porsche and keep these iconic cars pristine. TLDR, it's basically Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed, but better. But we have two new ones here that on our initial playlist. So American we have. Muscle. Show off your street racing spirit by driving some of the most classic and memorable US muscle cars. We're in America and we want to try something new, so we might go for this one first when we do the playthrough. And of course, the fifth is... Legacy. Rule the streets. Join the Donut Media team and answer Jane Pumphrey's unique questions, challenges, and car face-offs. Also, for those who have played uh, Forza Horizon 5, this is... Not a fairly new territory because Forza tried the same thing and they absolutely failed it. Well, aside from putting in the two new 350Zs which are unique to the game, which are kind of what I want. So we could actually try this one out as well. Can we... We're forced to pick. You know what? Let's just go with this. Let's crash some crowds. Playlist ahead. Let's go. No time for guessing games. The container you're driving to is your entry to the American Muscle Playlist. I'm glad that they actually threw us straight into it. And let's just admire the Mustang first while we're here. Oh, In a wow. few minutes, you'll enter the world of muscle cars. Beware, you may never want to leave. Oh god, that Panamera though. I thought it was traffic. Muscle cars are more than just a 70-year-old car trend. It's an entire chunk of the American car culture. To tons of people, muscle cars are the epitome of what a vehicle should represent. Oops, I forgot that was the map. Oh, what? I forgot. Yeah, we have the pre-order pack of Liberty Walk. Your content can be collected. A. Yeah, I forgot. We have the Liberty Walk pre-order pack, which also includes the Liberty Walk Supra and a few others. And I believe we also have the Fitted Rainbow pack. So we also have some 
Yeah, the fitted rainbow outfit. I think this is the same one that uh, that Malu is also wearing, and we have the Civic Type R twenty twenty one fitted edition. The fitted jungle pack, which includes the seven eighteen spider and uh, the fitted jungle outfit, and of course the year one pass, which is unique for those who have the gold and ultimate edition. You could get. Two exclusive vehicles, though not my taste. Two American ones, a classic and a modern muscle car. All yours for the taking. So, to view them, let us go here to... Is it right? Our profile? Let's check first what we have. Um, let's see. Let's customize Adriana here. It's more streamlined. I like it. Hey, we got some more sponsored outfits. Nice. We also got the donut media outfit and the Porsche. Oh my god, the Porsche one looks sick. Oh, fitted is the brand. I am dumb. Fitted is the brand. Wow. And of course, the Liberty Walk hoodie. That's sick. And everything else is for purchase, of course. Hey, we got the rain. Uh. The rain look we got a wife beater i'm kidding um welcome to motorfest t-shirt a hey, the crew 2 t-shirt nice there are tons more of these compared to the closed beta wow it really caters to both male and female demographic this is portion 11 oh so it's different from the oh wow Wow. Hey, I love the Made in Japan hoodie though. Motorsport ones. Off road racing attic. Damn. Bike lovers. Wow. They have got me sold all in all. Hey, leggings. This would look best. I'm going for the leggings for Adriana. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a bit of a fashionism myself. So, I don't know if that was part from the fitted pack, but I catered to boots though. Nah, no, but they cost some money. I'll be back for them boots. I'll be back for them boots. We got the gloves. We got suits. Hey, here we go. Racing outfits. Um, wow, these are a lot. Ah, oh, the Lamborghini suit though. Yeah, we're gonna gun for that. The tuxedo, the one that we used in the closed beta. Full Red Bull. I'm gonna get that one. When we complete the motorsports event though. The playlist, I mean. So, let us go back and... Yeah, these are from the fitted DLC. If we got the fitted pack. Donut Media looks cool. Uh, T-shirt White Summer by Fitted Hawaii. The Liberty Walk jacket. I think we'll stick to what we got for now. They all look magnificent. They all look chic. They all look cool. It's a shame though that there's not much when it comes to the hairstyles. I hope in upcoming DLCs we got some more. Why does she look so cute here? Alright, and then let us go to... Oh yeah, I forgot. There are titles. You could collect titles too. Lot. And let's go to our vehicles. Do we retain the mods though? Performance level, equip a new part. Yeah, because some of these we have them in already. <gasps> yes! They kept the look! They kept the mods! I like it. I like it. They retained my looks, but sadly we lost the livery, so we have to do them all over again. Yeah, we got the. Uh, the Kagi Red Suns FD, my special Evo X, the Nismo though. Yeah, almost all of the cars here. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had a GTO. I, I, I thought this was an NSX, sadly. The Midnight Cinderella. Yeah, I forgot I had the Neon as well. Midnight Cinderella, the Koenig, the Drift Edition. I forgot that I had the Aventador. Yeah. Also the Drift Edition. I lost the Asoluto look, sadly. So yeah, 
I love the fact that they look even much more better imported to the motor fest compared to the last time. Ew, take that off my FD. Take that off my FD. So what else do we got here? Let our entire lineup is actually here. You know what? Obligatory. We need to find our McLaren F1. Doko, where is our bay? So we got a touring cars here, the F40 LM. No, I missed my Nismo livery. That was unique. So the liveries that you've made in the crew too cannot be imported in. If I was wrong, please let me know in the comments. So what else? What else? Wait, I, I swear this had black. So the 935 Coupe Baby. So after the touring cars, we got our drags. Where's the 34 drag? The one that I use most. Oh, there it is. There's the Sakura look. We're going to throw Sakura into the drift spec, obviously. And we're going to undrift that drift spec for obvious reasons. The P1, the F12 TDR, the S7 Twin Turbo. Hello, Nova babies. And there she is. Welcome home. We're driving in the McLaren. Allure and power with some crucial tweaks and just the right amount of outside of the box thinking. Cars in their fullest might and glory. Ah, oh, it's much better to drive with the McLaren in. I know the perf parts are not thrown in or imported into the game. That's a given. Wait, what? In our catalog tackles another key aspect of worldwide car culture. Car How do we get here? That's right. This playlist is 100% inspired by the work of an unrivaled auto-tuning pioneer, Mr. Wataru himself and his signature brand, Liberty Walk. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Liberty. Why am I thrown to the Liberty Walk playlist? become clear once we get to the container why are we going to liberty walk i thought we were going to crowd crash simulator but i'm loving the stormy weather though yeah but i'm actually absolutely loving this right now you know what let's visit it liberty walk let's go Let's go. We're here. Here comes Liberty Walk, introduced by Mr. Kato himself. Screw the treasure. I never figured that the McLaren would look much better than it is before. But yeah, let's let this play out and then we are going to cut the episode. Liberty Walk! Playlist here, you know. Kato Watan is. This is the Nihon. このゲームでしか楽しめない素晴らしい体験をお送りします。30年以上も世界中の車をリバティオークスタイルでカスタムしてきました。みんなが驚き、喜ぶ。LBカスタムカーで日本の伝統を大切にしながら。作っています。その作品をこのモーターフェストならではの体験を通じてチェックしてみてください。リバティオークの世界を旅して君がトップのその旅を終えることができたなら僕のコレクションから
特別な車をプレゼントするよ。Hello? Teasing me with the prize car right off the bat. Seriously? Yeah, Motorfest really knows how to surprise us. And kill the, <laughs> kill the suspense and the surprise at the same time. This is Liberty Walk, a step beyond the boundaries of customization. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine events. Nine photo ops. And I'm glad there is no car requirement for Liberty Walk. Fast travel to container unlock. Nice. Yep, this is going to be a momentful journey for us, at least here in the channel. Let's move on to another activity. But for now, hold on, I, I just realized why. I think my screen was a little wide. <laughs> Something is wrong. I'll probably check that later. I don't know if it's wide or maybe it's just because of my screen. I'm just previewing it here over in OBS. It looks a little wide compared for my taste. But I, I, again, I could be corrected here. So it's either this or we could go to the Lamborghini one. Let's check the playlist out. Activities. Show me Lamborghini. But you know, we have to complete the cast first. So let we have to jump into there. Playlist unlocked. All clear for you to indulge in, driver. So you got seven kilometers to enjoy all of this. But since we have the pre-order, the pre-order bonus, we have to switch. Oh my God, Adriana, chill, chill, chill. Because we have the pre-order bonus, let us switch over to our pre-order car. So no, not 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 to her, not to the boo. Uh, let's go to vehicles and let's filter country Japan. All right, let's. Okay, so we have the fitted edition, obviously sporting a Liberty Walk kit right there. Oh, they took him a taxi. And my Paul Walker. The Caprio suck though. And my Devil Z at least. And there it is. The GR Supra Liberty Walk Edition. And oh yeah, forgot I had those as well. But since we're here. And the reason why we want to go to the Lamborghini one before we end this uh, video is simply put. We gotta be in a Lambo. So where you at girl where you at you know who i'm talking about here there she is the beauty the bay we have to go in in style okay i'm just waiting on my pc upgrade so that we'll have proper 60 frames amidst the stormy weather but it's funny how we started out. To show you this new playlist, a full-on automobile Lamborghini experience. You heard me right. The best Lamborghini models waiting for you right here on the island. Okay, so what was I saying? Right, it's it's weird that we started out the Motorfest in such a stormy weather. That's what I'm trying to say. Literally raining on our parade. And before we talk about strategizing, we have to enjoy every new content that the game has to offer. Edgy design and flashy colors are what makes Lambo stand out. But as you'll see, there's so much more to it. Ever since its inception over 60 years ago, has been going from triumph to triumph. Now, the Motorfest gives you a chance to experience the legend and to write its next chapter here in Hawaii. It is also a perfect chance to embrace the local summer vibe and make this the party of a lifetime. Speaking of party, this Lambo's loving to party right now. So also, what I'm going to do, I am not going to cover the previously completed playlist anymore. I'll do them off-screen. 
But I can at least share this. If you have any cars that you wish for me to customize or re-customize, let me know in the comments and I will put them under main priority. And before we officially end end, let us look at the PV for Automobili Lamborghini. what Lamborghini is all about? Buckle up! This is going to be one hell of a day! So again, another 9 events, 6 feet, 7 photo ops, and a fast travel to the container has been unlocked. So we have our choice and I'll leave it to you guys to decide. Should we go with Automobili Lamborghini or should we go with Let's Liberty Walk as up. our next brand new um, experience here in the Crew Motor Fest? I'll just park right here on the side first. Alright, so this will be the start of our journey of the Crew Motor Fest. At least we're not late this time compared to the other playthroughs. And this is going to be one heck of an absolute experience and maybe once i have my pc upgrades in we're gonna do some exhibition matches with the speed legend cast and others but we'll definitely do in between playlist and car mods playlist and car mods and if you want me to do some live builds let me know as well in the comments so don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't subscribe if you haven't and again big thanks so much to ubisoft for giving me a copy or providing me the copy of the crew motor fest the ultimate edition so for those who have are contemplating so if you have the cash to, to splurge it starts at 70 bucks on the base game but if you want the ultimate edition with the pre-order bonus and everything else you're better off going with the ultimate edition costing 119 dollars but it's absolutely worth it which already includes the one year pass mind you and probably two exclusive vehicles which i will check off screen if i do have it myself anyway so thanks for dropping by guys and welcome to oahu <laughs>